What's going on people and welcome back to another Premier League predictions for game week 23. Lots of games coming up. Finishing off the game week 22 tonight with Manchester United going up against Leeds. I do fancy us for that one, I've got to be honest. I have put a preview out for that, so if you haven't seen it and my thoughts on that, go watch it. Getting into the game week coming up, game week 23, let's get into it. So Saturday, first game, half 12 kickoff. We've got a London derby, West Ham going up against Chelsea. Both teams not in the best of form and will be desperate for the points. I think they will cancel each other out though. I've gone for 1 1. Starting off the 3 o'clock kickoffs, we've got Arsenal versus Brentford, which I think could potentially be the game of the weekend. I think Frank's doing a fantastic job at Brentford. Tony's on fire. Teta with Arsenal, even though they've been slipping slightly recently, they're still top of the league. They're still the team to chase. Um, I think it'll be a very good game, an exciting one. And I've gone for 2 1 home win to Arsenal. Next up, we've got Crystal Palace versus Brighton. I've gone with a 1-1 one, one in this one. Palace, a little bit harder to break down at home than away. Um, and Brighton are a little bit hard to read in terms of they're not necessarily any better at home than they are away. So, And, and they're not terrible. Like they're, they're pretty consistent. So I've gone with a 1-1 one, one in that. Next up, we've got Fulham versus Nottingham Forest. Fulham, fantastic season so far. Forest have been turning it around compared to how they started. But I think this one will be a bit too much of an uphill task going to Fulham with the form that they're in Fulham. I've gone with a 2-0 to Fulham in this one. Leicester City versus Tottenham. I've gone with a 1-0 away win to Tottenham in this one. I, I hate watching Tottenham. They're probably the team that I despise the most in the league because they're for the squad they have, they're so boring to watch that they actually depress me. But I do think that they will have enough to get past Leicester. Even though Leicester are at home, I think they're just not the team they were a few seasons back. 1-0 Tottenham in that one. We've got Southampton versus Wolves. Southampton obviously desperate to get out of that, the bottom of the table. Um, but Wolves under Lopate since he's come in have definitely upped it and improved. Um, and I expect them to get the result in this one. I've gone with a 2-0 away win. I don't think that, that Nathan Jones will survive much longer at Southampton, to be honest. So, yeah, 2-0 away win for Wolves. Half-five kick-off Saturday, Bournemouth versus Newcastle. I've gone with an away win to Newcastle. I think they're so hard to beat right now. They're one of the best teams in the league. They deserve to be in the, in the top half of the table where they are. I think they're just going to have too much for Bournemouth. I think Bournemouth will get relegated. And yeah, I, since Gary O'Neill got the time, got the job full time, it's got worse for him. So I'm going with a 2-0 away win to Newcastle. Sunday's games then, we've got Leeds United versus Manchester United. I'm going with a 3-0 away win for United in this one. I just think we'll have too much for them. We've got a very decent history and record against Leeds. And I see them. I see us beating them tonight and in this one next week. So I'm going 3-0, another clean sheet. And that, now Marsh is gone as well. They're even more vulnerable than they have been. Haven't won a game in ages. Played 20 and lost 10 of them and only won four. So it's not great for them, and I think we will expose them. 3-0 away win Manchester United. Off on Sunday, Manchester City versus Aston Villa. All the stuff that's going on with City off the pitch at the moment and the investigations and stuff, it's, it's looking a bit shaky for them, and I think Pep potentially could be off soon if that is the case and things get found out. So I think under Emery, Villa will improve, and I think they have slightly already. I think City might scrape this one being at home. I'm going to go 2-1 Man City. Into Monday then, we've got Liverpool versus Everton in the Merseyside derby. Uh, 8 o'clock kickoff under the lights. Liverpool are going to be desperate to get something from this, especially at home. And Everton are coming into it, winning their last, and, and Liverpool have lost their last. So the advantage mentally should lie with Everton, but they have to go to Anfield, which is never easy. Even though they have been a bit poor this season, Liverpool, it's a, it's a Merseyside derby, so the passion alone could pull them through it. But I've actually gone with a 1-1 draw. Dyche going in there recently, he's already improved them. And I see them getting something from the game, so I'm going to go 1-1. And then lastly this week, guys, on Wednesday, half seven kickoff, we've got Arsenal versus Manchester City. In 
what could be the decider for the title if we're going to really delve into it and dive deep because these two are the, the contenders. I think Newcastle have a shout, but it's really between these two right now. Um, City have been off it recently, lost their last game, but so did Arsenal. There's not a lot in it in terms of their records. So uh, it's a hard one to, to decide on. Arsenal have been slipping recently a little bit. I've gone on the fence a little bit and I've gone 2-2 because I think they will cancel each other out. Arteta versus Guardiola. The master versus the student, if you will. I think it will be quite a cautious game. I think Arsenal might be the team on the front foot for more of the game. But I think City's experience and Pep's experience, I think they might grind it out and get at least a point. So I'm going to go 2-2. That's it for this game week's predictions, guys. Game week 23. Enjoy the games coming up. And don't forget, game week 22 finishes tonight after Manchester United versus Leeds. If you enjoy it, guys, let me know yours in the comments and your predictions, who your team has. And I'll see you guys soon.